do know what the definition of choice is, right? An act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more possibilities. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then we do have a choice. According to the reason. But there's only one we will make, so. <laughs> You know what's funny? We don't do intros for these anymore. We just Did we do intros? We didn't do intros. Okay. We did the first two, at least. We were not pointing. You guys, we covered everything? What? Did we cover everything? No. Definitely not, but Jacob's gonna get annoyed. It's gonna be like, let's talk about evolution next. Point there. Oh, where are we going? No. No. What are we still talking about? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, well, you did say Jacob would get annoyed. See, called it. Yeah. Anyhow, there's ultimately only one path we will go down, regardless of the amount of choices available to us. Wait, what was it? Say it again. Uh, there's ultimately only one path we will go down, regardless of the amount of choices available to us. Oh, so like our paths are predestined. Well, regardless of anyone knows. Let's just say God knows nothing. Let's just say he doesn't know at all. It's still gonna happen. So predestined. Yeah. Regardless of knowledge regardless of knowledge. Like, aside from knowledge. Let's just say it doesn't matter. It, doesn't it will, matter it will just happen. Knowledge. Yeah, it will, it will just happen. Sure, why not? I don't agree because I don't fully understand yet. Okay. So, we'll wait. So, once you fully understand, you will provide an opinion? Probably not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh yes, 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 there was one, one other point that was brought up that I want to clear the air before we go on. Uh, Ellie, you said God chooses not to know about the decisions we will make. Yeah. There's no quotes from me. I didn't say anything last time. I know. There's so much of me in there. Wait, what was the thing? Yeah, you didn't say anything last time. You just asked questions. I didn't do any research. Well, none of us did, so... None of us did. Alright, what's the statement? Yeah. It says, God chooses not to know the decisions we will make. I think what Joseph read helped me to understand better that, like, the idea of what God knows and what we are able to know, or, like, the concept of tomorrow, or the yeah. concept of yesterday, yeah. it's, like, such a different concept for mm -hmm. God than it is for us. Yeah. So I think when I said that statement, I was really naive into thinking about the limits of human being and that that was the same for God. Mm -hmm. When I, Now I don't think it is the same for God. Yeah. So I think time and, and, and all of that is a lot different for God than it is for us. Right, because all of that is really just a conception. Right, and I think we are so limited in, we're, in our mortality um, that I don't agree with that necessarily anymore, that I don't think it's as as big of a deal as like God knows what I'm going to do before I do it. Yes. It's more of just like time is just so different for God. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's just kind of like all in one line. It's not like all of these different, you know what I mean? He's seeing it all yeah. come to fruition. So like the idea of the future is like not really a reality for God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just kind of how I think of it now, which negates what I said. Mm, okay, cool. We got that cleared up. Let's see. God created the universe in seven days. Uh, the Bible says yes. Okay. No, 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 I forgot what it was. It doesn't work with people who you know their mother. It's like, as humans, we feel like we have a lot of freedom you know, to choose whatever we want. Therefore, we feel like we have free will. It's kind of... Ian, how are you defining free will? I'm not. This is just a non-committal imaginary person who has this opinion. What happened? I don't know. Okay, so 
Mm -hmm. Any other comments you would love to say right now? Any other? Uh, Anything else that you need to really see, call out? Okay, um, okay, I'm, I actually, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, let's, oh, oh, I, I have let's see. Last time you touched on like if God knew, then like you would feel unfree, like you wouldn't feel free. If God knew what would happen. I think that was me not accepting my mortality. Oh. Like would you still feel the same? Or not having the understanding of it. No. Because I know I know people who also feel that way. No, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. I think it's less emotional now. Okay. I'm less emotional about it. Yeah. I think now it's more so like, wow. I think it just made me realize that there's so much about God that I don't understand, or haven't really like taken the time to learn about, like my mortality versus His immortality, and what does that mean? Yeah. Like how how much limited am I? Yeah. That I don't understand yet, and I think that was me just like not even beginning to like look into that concept, and I think. Uh, um, honestly, just the idea of like the fact that I am so limited, and the fact that God is so limitless, mm -hmm. means uh, it just kind of makes you like kind of respect and fear God, a bit, which is good. That's a positive thing. Yes, to fear God. Um, yeah, so I would say that I feel differently about it. I don't feel as like, oh, I have no freedom because God knows what I'm gonna do. I don't feel that way anymore. It's just more of like, wow, there's so much about God that I just don't understand yet, and. That was what that was coming from. Mm. Interesting. Oh, thank you for sharing. Okay. Does that clear that up? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I definitely know other people who also feel this way. For sure. Okay. And I just think it comes with the idea of like understanding your your own mortality. Yeah. And accepting it. Mm -hmm. You're alright with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I think now about it. Things got really heated. I would have brought up Isaiah 55. Bring it up. Oh yeah, sure. Let's look it up right now. But Isaiah 55, 8 through 9 wants to read it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither yeah. your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts high, uh, my thoughts than your thoughts. Yeah, so that kind of um, supports what I said before. Yes. Accepting my own mortality and not really having an understanding of that. Yep. That, yeah, that literally supports that. So, yeah, that's... Yep. Thanks for showing me that, Aria. I forgot about that scripture. Yeah. My actually, dad actually pulled that up. He's like, you forget. can this one. I forgot about this scripture. Thanks for bringing it up. I actually really appreciate that.